and days as well. All right, let's get to Jay-Z. Y'all know I know Jay-Z a little bit, a lot bit. Um, our families go to the same school, so I get to see them all the time. And look, it's awkward to me, not to him, because it's like, that's Jay-Z. Anytime I meet somebody that helped shape who I am and they didn't know it, those are the ones I fan man around. And I tell them, I'm like, dog, salute. You know, because Ice Cube helped raise me on the lyrics. So every time I see Cube, I'm in like reverence, deference. I'm like, Cube, right? I see Jay-Z, I'm like, damn. Because I mean, the dude was just, he was just sick with it, especially he hit when I hit. When I got paid, he was rapping, rapping, right? <laughs> and I'm like, what? So I'm playing him the soundtrack of life. But he brought up something interesting, talking about how sometimes you just don't want to deal with the dumb shit, the stupid shit. So listen to Jay-Z break down something that a lot of people misinterpret when they see stars out there in the world. A lot of times you can misinterpret that as uh, arrogance. Mm. If someone doesn't engage you in the way that you believe they should, then <laughs> yeah. he was like, he's arrogant. He's act like he's above everybody. Yeah. Like, no, I just don't want to argue with you about stupid <laughs> 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That was short but sweet, and let me tell you why. Let's start in this dynamic, because people who see me or really know me know I like to have fun, I like to hang and be nice and open and just be like positive. Like, that's who I really am. Now, if you don't know me, you don't know me. So you're going to have your assumptions. You may have heard this. You may read that. You may be looking at me like, I don't know, whatever that may be. And why I know that's true and probably true for everybody is this. When somebody comes up to you and you guys engage and they say, wow, you're so down to earth. You immediately got to push back, be like, where did they think I was before? Before this engagement, where did you think I was? How far away? How far up? Because now I'm down to earth. Oh, I'm relatable. Oh, I'm on your level, right? So what happens is when you make it or you get all this attention, you could be the pretty girl or you could be the star athlete, whatever the hell, or be the pretty star athlete, right? You get enough encounters where people are coming at you with these thoughts, preconceived and what they believe you are, and then they like, wow, you're different. And you get tired of that engagement. You get tired of like, why are you judging me in the first place? And then when we kicking it like this, why are you coming at me like I'm supposed to be something different? So then it goes deeper, because it's not so positive all the time, right? Sometimes people come at you sideways. Sometimes people come at you and they want to say something that you just disagree with. But if you step over that or you don't want to go there with them, they think you arrogant. Why am I arrogant when I don't want to deal with the dumb stuff? When I don't want to deal with the little things because I'm trying to do it big in this world. And then that's when you get the reputation or that's when people start talking crazy to you. Or that's what Jay-Z is talking about. I just don't want to deal with the stupid shit, right? <laughs> At the core of all of this, you need to be above certain things. We don't like saying that. We don't like hearing that, but we need to live that. You got to be above certain things, not people, but certain things. And if that's what you want to do as a person, that thing, then I got to be above that situation. You do that, you're going to be called arrogant. You're going to, people don't think you all that. Oh, you think you all that. Nah, dog. It just ain't about you. It's about it. And you are doing it. And I got to be bigger than that. Straight up. If you're going to be who you are and somebody, if you're going to be who you are and somebody ain't told you, you arrogant, you're an ass or you stupid or none of these things, I don't think you're on, on your way to being there yet. I don't think you have separated yourself to the success that you desire unless somebody is coming at you cocked and loaded telling you, you ain't. That's just the way it's built. And then when you get there, you got to deal with that. Doesn't mean it's your label, doesn't mean that's what your reputation is, but people are going to attack you. Why? Because they feel attacked. They feel, letter, they feel lesser than. They feel like, oh, you, you think you better than me. I want to engage in this shit. And you like, dog, all due respect, 
I'm bigger than that. Real talk, you bigger than that too, but you so consumed with it, you don't see that. Mm, talk that talk, boy. Man, because I know I'm not cocky on the outside. <laughs> on the inside, oh, I got two fat ass cheerleaders with big pom pom. Go, Marcel, let's go. Every situation, they rooting for me. But on the outside, why well, be an asshole? Like, who wants that guy around them? I don't like, I don't like to do anything I don't want done back to me. Golden rule. So therefore, I'm never gonna be asshole. I will be strict and say, no, thank you. I will be like, that's enough. I will chicken wing your ass if you get too close and you ain't back at all. Like, right, I, I'm my own security. I had to say this last night. We went out um, to nice guy out here, LA spot. And these fans were all right here. Uh, and then my boy was like, you good? You good? I was like, man, you know I got my chicken wings. Like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So um, I just crack up when you see people who want to engage with you. And you like, dog, I-, I got love for you, but I ain't got love for that. And it could be the streets. I was having this conversation, too. It could be your boys from back in the day. It could be some petty stuff. It could be the fact you want to have another Jordan argument. <laughs> like, dog. It is 2024. He done been retired for 20 years. Y'all still talking about that? <laughs> You're like, dog, I'm good. Oh, man, you think, uh, uh, no, 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 I don't. How many times are we going to argue about this shit? <laughs> God dang. And it could be something real, right? How many times in your family somebody won't let that shit go and you'd be like, dog. And then when you let it go, you the asshole. This, this happens all the time growing up. In family dynamics all the time. But at the core of this, let me say this. Just tell the truth. If you tell the truth, then we can avoid the labeling. We can avoid the name calling that comes in this process. Seriously. Because if you don't like arguing for the sake of just arguing, and I certainly don't like arguing for what we talking about, why are we arguing? (laughs) Why are we arguing? (laughs) Ah, my wife thinks I'm argumentative. I'm not argumentative. I'm meticulous to details with the details. I hear every syllable what you say and I record it. I'm like a lawyer. I'm like, nah, you just said that that conflicts with that. Explain. Ah, you're so argumentative. I'm like, no, for clarity purposes. Can we please get through this? And guess what she does? She lets go of the rope. And guess what I do? I let her go. Let it go. (laughs) Because I don't want to go there on her and she ain't got to go there on me. Y'all need to stop going there on each other out there. He ain't arrogant. He ain't an asshole. He just don't want to deal with what you're dealing with. And why we got to deal with what you're dealing? Who made you the dealer? <laughs> that kind of stuff. All right, man, have some fun with that. Beat it up in the comments. Coming up next on Never Shut Up, we're going to go funk up some comments. And Wiley isn't get up out of here next. Never Shut Up on Breach TV. Breach TV. Yeah, yeah. Why am I always banging cues? I love cues too much. Though. Too much.